Well, it's not good, guys. I took a look at our bank account today. And while we did good in February, we spent way too much in March. And, you know, I always knew the time would come when we'd have to do this. But I just didn't think today would be the day. And Scott and I talked about it. It looks like we're going to have to start hot tub streams. So, Scott, put your trunks on. Fuck. Well, I mean, at least our female viewership will go up. Maybe. It's like hard to know where to get started because I'm just gonna, you've got a pile over I'm there. Just I got start, stuff over here. I'm start bringing stuff out and yeah. just talk real quick about it. This one here you picked up yesterday. I did uh, for a very good price. Complete in box and everything. You guys can probably see the price on the front. I don't think that you knew that they went for more. I overlooked it. I checked in so, the uh, case and I was like, shit, I gotta pick that up. We found this over at Matt's Media yep. in Riverview. Um, definitely go check them out. Absolutely. They have everything. They literally they have, have- Vinyl, they have games. T-shirts. T-shirts. I forgot to bring that down. <laughs> oh. Hold on one second. There. That's a nice shirt. You don't like the shirt. <laughs> yes, he does. Queen, we just seen Bohemian Rhapsody, Rhapsody for the first time. Loved it. Of John Candy's comedy favorites. It's got Uncle Buck, Great Outdoors, and Going Berserk. Going Berserk, I've never Ask watched. Ask me how many of them I've seen. Jen's never seen any of them. I'm this a failure as a Canadian. I, the Monsters. Yeah. I absolutely love that show. I don't know why there, but every Halloween, I, I, I kind of crave to watch the Monsters. Klonoa. I knew I had to get it. This is not the first time I've seen it at the parlor. I regret it not picking it up yep. that first time because this is one of those hidden gems that I think is going to continue or at least keep its value. I picked this up Shovel Knight because I played it on the Wii U and I told her that she had to play it. Her and Dennis got to play through it as two player. Yeah. And I sat back and drank beer and laughed my ass off. Oh, that was awesome. Are you, you shocked at how good that was? I, I told yes, you it was you kept awesome. saying you have to play that. And I, I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And like the music is, it, it just gets to you. You're like, holy shit, that's it's great so music. Catchy. It's mm -hmm. so catchy. Such a great game. This was a birthday gift of mine. Yes. Mother Russia, Russia bleeds. bleeds. <laughs> I haven't gotten a chance to play that one either. No, I opened, think, I opened it up. Yeah, you did. Well, I mean, it's all these a, are getting opened up. It's got a wicked, you know, heavy, like, thick booklet in well, it. Well, I find that sometimes yeah. with like those limited it's, run special reserve games, special reserve games, yeah, they yeah. come with this like really fantastic, great big booklet that you're not gonna this get is, from newer games. I don't know what this is with special reserve games. If they have some kind yeah. of dog theme going on. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't want to crack it, so it we're not. I'm playing it. I don't want to play the hell out of it. Yeah, I know, game. but we don't but need, nah, I don't to need crack the crack that manual. Yeah. yeah. It's hunting season. This one here was something that we missed out during our no buy February, and then I went back and it's still there. Do you know what's not fair? Like. Well, I mean that too, but no fun February is over, and I was like, maybe they'll still have Manhunt Two there. And then we went, we came to Parlor, Parlor, yesterday. They didn't have Manhunt 2 and they didn't have Shining Tears. And then we came today and they had. Where you going How's that fair? I don't know. You better buckle up, I'm driving. Okay. It's not fair though. I know, it's tough. Yeah, life's tough. Shining, I was pissed. Shining Tears on the PS2. I, and you know what the weird thing about it is? We went the day on, before we let's, came. let's say, Friday or something. Yeah. And it wasn't there. And then we decided to go back on, maybe it was Sunday. Yeah. And it was on the shelf again. And we had talked to people there and I said, maybe I overlooked it. He said, well, maybe somebody had it on hold. They were behind the shelf too. there and they never picked it up. And I'm like, well, score for me. Are you guys like me that when you go into a game store or a thrift shop, and anywhere you go to pick up your games, if you're filming, you're not always paying attention to what's there because you're behind a lens. Well, that almost happened to me today. 
Uh, and it's not a huge score, but it's something that w I hadn't seen before. And you can't quite see it because there's a big box on top of the counter that's blocking it. But we'll talk about it in a second. As you guys may have noticed, my main focus was on this big box, Little Nightmares. And I'm sad to say I did not pick it up. I just, I don't know, guys. What's your thoughts on big box collecting? Is there room for it in your collection? Is it worth it? I just, I don't know where we stand if we have the room and if that's something we get into, then it becomes a whole other thing. So yeah, let's move on from that and let's see what game I did pick up today. Thomas was alone. It's a limited run game. Um, now, it's a very odd looking game because you are basically a square. I found this at Nerdful Things and I just had never seen it before. So I had to look it up. It wasn't overly expensive, but it looked intriguing enough. And I'm like, I have to get that. But yeah, I, I'll throw some gameplay up because it's, it's a I different one. I haven't even seen gameplay. Either. It's a platformer, but a uh, puzzle platformer. But yeah, I, I was really intrigued by it. And I'm like, let's try it out. Let's see what it is. So now that February is over and we're finally allowed to buy games, Scott bought something. I bought a game too. You did buy a game too, but we're planning on converting our toy room into a toy room slash retro room sometime in the near future. So Scott, what'd you get? got a phone, not just any phone. <laughs> it's like the oldest phone of life. It only calls out, but it was so cool. Let's make it go. Oh. Maybe you have to have it sitting down, or I don't know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Delayed reaction. Uh, yeah. And I, <laughs> I wish we would have taken video in there, but this was like our first like hunting video again in a long time and we did get a ps3 game but who cares about that now that we saw the phone no. uh but yeah so we're gonna go a few places we will maybe get some video and the, that's on you the best part about that pickup in there the best part was that he has an item that i really want at his house and he's like i've decided i'm going to sell it and i thought i should give you first crack at it <laughs> i'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet but it'll come up in a future video or maybe even this one depending on when we get it out but sure. you got something for me at moncton pond a couple months ago yes and the owner said by the way i have the other one and i was like you what? And and I'm like, I want it. And he's like, well, that's what I'm mentioning it to you. Because if I was going to sell it to anybody, I would sell it to you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Guys, I went and picked this up the next day. Oh. <laughs> 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 this yeah. is like... You can take a picture of the, yes. uh, the other one, the card guard and Alice all together. Yeah, um, I, you guys may have noticed a couple videos before this, I had something blurred out in the background. I only noticed it after I did the B-roll that that was in there. So huh. the video was already edited. I didn't want to have to go take another video. So I just added a mask to blur it out. But this was the secret in the background. I am just <laughs> missing the Cheshire cat now. So, but there's what, three versions of her? There's a few different versions yeah. of Alice. The one where she turns insane and it's an old white dress with red blood on it. I yeah. can't remember what that name of that power is. Yeah, and then there's another mm. dress too, but if anybody has a Cheshire cat and wants to sell it to me, I will buy it. Yes, apparently she will. I will. <laughs> we went to Valley Village. Wasn't expecting to find a whole lot of anything because we never do. I think it was just kind of a, should we go to Valley Village too? Because yeah. we were doing we a bit of a hunting weekend. We yeah. thought we'd fill some B-roll yeah. and that's what happened here. Well, after finding nothing at Value Village usually, we found, we found some good stuff, which was kind of surprising. The first we put up was the GameCube games. Yeah. So we got Time Splitters 2. Yeah. And Cell Damage. Now these weren't ridiculously low priced. What you have to no. understand is that for the most part, we you tend to overpay at our value village yeah. more than anything else. No. They were a little bit undervalued, 
and not we're by like, much. not by much, but they were games who were like, oh, that we'd like to add this to the collection. We don't see them a whole lot. We have Time Splitters the first one. We're like, screw it, let's get but it. But there was a loose Sega Genesis game that I was like, what yes. the fuck? So here's the loose game that I got. The Hyperstone Ice oh, yeah. TMNT. I was shocked because it was sitting on the shelf like this and from a distance and I was like, yeah. Is that fucking Hyperstone Yeah, old. is that fucking Hyperstone Heist? This we got a really good deal on. Yeah, it was what? $39.99? $39.99. But, uh, but loose it goes for like what? Over a hundred Canadian. It's crazy. It's crazy that it goes for that much, but And I know you yeah, guys are probably thinking, you know, forty dollars is not a great price. But well, not for like a value village that was donated to. Yeah, but, yeah. but that's what our value village prices yeah. are like. Yeah, I wish they weren't, but they are. So. Here's a weird one there that maybe, maybe the game sucks. I don't know. <laughs> but. It's a game that is hard to find on eBay if you go look it up. It's on the Xbox 360. And it's maybe you see it everywhere where you're dark. from. But yeah. But you go on eBay right now, you're probably gonna find less than 10 listings for it. This one you can blame on Lightsaber Samurai. Okay, way to go. <laughs> it's a Guilty Gear Judgment on the PSP. Now, the reason why I got it, is I'm not real big into the fighting game, but there is basically two games on this. It's mm -hmm. the same characters, but there's a beat em up game on it too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, very like Streets of Rage feel, Double Dragon. Do you feel. think it would be something I would enjoy? Yeah, it might. Okay. I don't know how you put two player on that. Yeah, that's. I will. Be a system link or something. I feel there. like I thought I'd seen that, and I almost yeah. want to ask that, but I'm like, that's a dumbass like, that's question a because it's a handheld game, two player wireless co-op. And Neo Wave, the king of the fighters. Whose fault is this? This is mine, all mine. Oh. This is one of those. Fault. I don't even Can't have the green case yet. No. <laughs> so I'm going to be getting one there. But yeah, it's in manuals. And you got shape. that for a great deal too. Because I price. Heard... I've been watching this on e. I got it on eBay. I've yeah. been watching it on eBay for a while because I've been collecting Xbox for a couple of years now. Oh yeah. And it's never been that low. I think. Jen did like an impulse buy on this one. I, well, I was sitting outside waiting to get my eyebrows cut into because I, I got, got some microblading done and I had a migraine. I was like, you know what would make me feel better if I looked for names on Kijiji. Anyways, I was like, shit, I think I have to buy this. And he even has his old receipt in it and he paid more uh, for it than what he well, sold it and I appreciate it. But we got a good clean copy of a game we have been looking for for a while. Haunting, haunting ground. ground yeah it's a big heavy hitter yeah. that we're super excited to add i really want you to play it and then do, and do a, a review. really good review of it. yeah get your shit together get my poop in a group yeah tell your puppy to get his shit together <laughs> he shits all over the place he shits all over the place no he doesn't this is we went a little bit crazy we couldn't buy anything in february so that's what happens that's here. what happens yeah. when you have an addiction you get yeah it's, <laughs> you like, a it's like dieting for like a month yeah. and you're like, I'm going to eat yeah. no carbs. I'm going to have one piece of cake. And yeah, and the they're like cake. the whole McCain <laughs> cake right in your face. <laughs> Eating it with a fork standing over the sink. But yeah, we got some really good games. I'm not upset about it. No, okay. No. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the games. Uh, is there any here you're looking to add to your collection? You can't have ours, but we just want to know. Is there any of these <laughs> games that you're hoping to add to your collection in the future? Or are there any games that you're really on the hunt for? I'm just curious to know, because maybe... What good deals did you find lately? Yeah, what good deals did you find? So until next time, game on. <laughs> Who the hell am I kidding? We don't even own a hot tub.